Hello there, Leo. Welcome. This is your love reading for the second half of January 2024. So let's start off and see what's going on with you guys. We're starting off with O oh, Wounds, Five of Cups. Someone's hurting. Someone needs to heal here. Okay. And we have here Free Will. Okay, so you have free will to do what you want here. So, um, why do we have free will? We all have free will. Maybe someone's not letting go of something here. Okay, let's see what's crossing so we get a better idea why we have the old wounds with the free will here. Five of swords. Mind games and control. Okay, so two fives here. Definitely change is coming in, but you might have felt like someone was manipulating you, trying to control you, and there might be, um, you know, you have to understand you do have free will. You can, you know, you can do what you want. You don't have to let someone control you here. Um, let's see why we have the Five of Swords here. I would say compromise. So maybe there's something you might have to compromise in order to, if this is, um... I don't know why I'm feeling it's more like um, someone might be going through a divorce. And just realize that, you know, you do have your own free will. They, If you're breaking free, they don't, they, they don't have that control over you anymore, even though you might feel like they do. I know that's what the message I'm getting here. And you might have to compromise in order to get through this quicker. So um, that's what I'm getting for someone here. Not for everyone. Let's see what happened in the past. Temperance, restoration. So maybe you try. Okay, I feel like this for. I'm getting this for someone. Someone tried to restore something in the past and it didn't work. So now it feels like if I give you, I don't. This energy I'm feeling. If I give you an inch, you're trying to take a mile. And you know, and that's feeling like someone feels sort of trapped by that energy. Um, but there might be someone trying to restore something. This could be something totally different. Let me get a clarifier here. Sagittarius energy. We have vibrations. Okay, there might be a new vibration coming in. And it might be a new energy. And now because of it and because of what happened in the past, you might not be trusting this new energy. So just take your time. Again, the free will just really stand out more than anything else. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Now, let's go farther in the past. This might even be going back as far as a past life or past life. So, let's see. We have four of pentacles, scarcity mindset. Yeah, so someone might be afraid of being in this scarcity mindset. There might be something you're saying, maybe you're actually doing well. You always have um, been doing well. And you always say, why do I feel always afraid of having lack? It might have something to do with a past life, not this life, with the Four of Pentacles. Or someone might be trying to hold on to something here. Someone's afraid they can't do something on their own, and it could be actually connected to something farther back in the past. Let's see. We have, yeah, destruction. Something happened in the past that puts you through this, that there's some kind of destruction, some kind of turmoil. And that puts you in a lack. You might have lost a lot. Now, this could have been in this lifetime, and that's why you feel afraid. Or you could have seen it happen to your parents. Or this could have been a past life that you don't know why you feel it, but it's still deep ingrained in you. Okay, let's see what's coming in the future. The King of Pentacles. This is stability. So this could trust. This could either be your energy coming into a very stable um, condition here, uh, um, something that you can rely on to be very dependable. This could be a person that you're dealing with. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but this could be your energy. That this is saying trust that you're coming into this very stable, um, stable, stable way of being. The King of Pentacles is the most stable of all the court cards. So let's see here. The most financially abundant. We have here, okay, a peacock. Okay, so I would say strut your stuff. That you're going to be be shown here. You're going to be seen. People are going to see you for what you are. Okay, let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Nostalgia. Now, this could be uh, someone coming back from the past. And you could see them show up within the next six months 
It could be someone that was very stable in your life, someone returning, or someone you're thinking about. Well, let's get the word on this. And it could be any sign, but this could just be say this person was stable. We have here caring, want, confused. Okay, so this person is coming in. They're they're very caring, but they might might be confused about what they want, or they are confused and they might tell you they want something here. Okay, it feels all a little bit like vague because maybe that's what's meant to be here. Let's see. Um. What's coming in very soon for you in the near future? We have here the Nine of Cups, satisfaction, wish fulfillment. So your wishes are going to be granted very soon here. Let's see. We have here settling. Hmm, I don't like that. Don't settle. You know, there's. It's almost. Um, you could settle for something, but if there's something better coming in for you, don't settle. If you're not happy, you just say, "Ah, I might as well just do this." Don't do that, because some there your wish fulfillment is coming in. Just hang in there. Don't don't settle for a first thing or first person or first job or first offer. Okay. Now let's see who you are. We have here. The Nine of Swords, self-sabotage, and nightmares. So, yeah, I, it almost feels like someone I'm tapping into, it's not everyone, is feeling not good enough and not understanding their worth. They're worth a lot more here. Self-sabotage, nightmares. This is like, you know, this is who you are, you're, what you're trying to... Oh, no, I don't like that. Let's see, we have here heal. So, you know, okay, you're healing this. Okay, this is better. So who you are, you're healing this way you used to think about yourself. You're realizing that you deserve better. Okay, so now, this is how you actually are projecting yourself into the world now. Let's see what's going on. We have here the hangman. New perspective. Okay, this is good. This is good. Pisces energy. So now you're not rushing into things. You're taking your time. And that's what you need to do. And you also have here this this heart lock but you need a key so this to me is telling me that you need a key to get into my heart you you can't just walk in like maybe you did before maybe you left someone in the past maybe they're saying i'm not settling you need to have this key okay let's see we have here you're at a crossroads though you might have to make a decision about maybe a couple of different people or our job or yeah there's something you have to decide on Let's see about your hopes and or fears. We have here six of swords, tranquility ahead. So yeah, what you're hoping for is probably something to be stable, calm, moving on. You could be traveling, you could be relocating. That is coming in here. And we have here solitude. And you might be doing this on your own. You might actually be relocating, changing jobs, changing locations, doing something here. But you're moving away on your own. So you might be... Breaking free from a toxic environment, a toxic relationship here. Okay. Now, possible outcome for you guys. Let's see here. We have here, ooh, the Queen of Wands, confident and ma magnetic here. So this could be your energy or this could be someone coming in for you. Um, it could be another Leo, it could be Aries, it could be a Sagittarius. And we have here... Oh, wow. Six of Wands. Success and recognition. Yeah, once you change your, your frame of mind of your attitude and which, how you think about yourself, things are going to take off for you. And we have here the Four of Wands. Foundation and commitment. Yeah, so it looks like you're coming into a time of much more, more success. You're getting a lot of attention. People are noticing you. And um, you're doing quite well here. Now, what you don't see coming is King of Swords. Quick wit. And intellect. So you might be dealing with an air sign or it could be anyone. And you might be very attracted to this person because they're very witty. They're very smart. They're very intelligent. And it might be you're, something that is very attractive to you. Let's see. Let's get a charm. Did I put, I did, I put a charm on the Queen of Wands. Let's do that. We have here. Oh. Yeah, there's some balance coming in for you. We have the scales, Libra, something balanced. That you also could be a contract. It looked like you could be in a new um, commitment, a marriage. Okay, now let's get a charm for this 
king of swords we have here oh we have the crab here so with the crab this could be a cancer energy this could also be someone that's coming in on sideways so you might not see them coming especially this is what you don't see coming anyway but they might come towards it on the side they won't be right, right in front of you the um but it also could be someone that comes across a little tough on the outside but soft inside okay so now let's clarify why is the queen of wands here why is the queen of wands here we have here material world okay so this could be very having success in your material world something's coming in for you that looks really good okay and what about this six of wands this victory it has something to do with the summer or maybe this could have something to do with a beach a tropical place or maybe you're going somewhere because it is you know a success here you might be traveling here or it could be in the summertime that this comes in for you and also um the four of wands we have here divine feminine okay so either you're the divine feminine or you're coming in to a connection with the divine feminine but this means you're coming in some kind of union here now at the bottom we don't see two. Oh, look at this we have the peacock pride and ego this person could, could be coming in who is the king of swords could be very proud and have a big ego or it could just be someone that is actually you know really standing out here um i want it in a way i don't know for someone i want to say flamboyant but not for everyone but i want i want to say that there is this person gets a lot of attention they also could be in their pride and ego okay now let's do the words through the Queen of Wands, we have here spying, present, love. Okay, so someone could be admiring you. Is this spying? But I almost feel like not spying so much as seeing you, watching you, and kind of very interested in you. Someone could be watching you. It could be in the present that might already be happening, or they could be presenting you with something or um they might bring you a present but there is love here for you now what about this king of swords thoughts reunite lover oh okay so this king of swords is someone that wants to return we have thoughts reunite and lover maybe they have a big ego or maybe they're very prideful um, so you might know who this is. So it might be for you, might not be for you. Because remember, this is a general reading. Okay, so let's see what signs you could be dealing with. This could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. Let's see what we have here. We have Cancer. Cancer. Now we did have the crab come up, right? Scorpio. Pisces. Wow, look at all the water signs. Scorpio, wow, and Sagittarius. That's a lot of water. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Now we'll do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have Q, P, P. B, N, J, S, V, F, F, U. Okay, the letters we have today are Q, P, P, B, N, J, S, V, F, F, U. Now, let's get the names. I'm looking for 11 or more names. Okay, let's see what we have. We have Nancy. Vivian. Vivian. V-I-V-I-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E, Jody. Brad. Tremea, 
T R A M A Y A. Denise. Bernadette. Artie. Barbara. Teresa T T E R E S S A. And Cornelia. So we have three. Wait. Three, six, seven. Oh, exactly eleven. Perfect. Okay, so those names. Now remember these are general readings, they are not person read. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you, if you checked out your sun sign, then check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. Or it might be, you know, something that you need to add on in order to make this reading um, more complete. There might be, yeah, there might be something that's missing here. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate with you at all, then leave it for who it's for. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. Um, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.